Hey there, this is Kristen from KristenCoaching.com. We're going to be talking about how confidence can increase your connection between you and your significant other. And this is really important to know, especially if you have recognized that you are struggling with insecurities in the relationship, because that can be really tiring for your other half to have to constantly reassure you and constantly say things and do things to soothe your anxieties and soothe your fears. That can be really taxing on the relationship and taxing on your connection uh, with your other half. We all have insecurities. We all have things that we don't like about ourselves, things that if we really focus on can make us feel really bad. Um, but we have to make sure that we don't allow that to be the driving force of what we bring to the relationship. We don't want when our partners to be thinking about us, the first thing that they think about is that, oh, I have a really insecure girlfriend, I have a really insecure wife, or I have a really insecure husband. Um, you don't they don't want to be thinking about that. You want to um, exude a positive energy that's really, really important. Um, you have to recognize your self-worth in the relationship. You need to know what you bring to the table. You need to truly believe that your other half would not be with you if they did not want to. So you have to own the positive qualities that you have about yourself and you have to slowly build up and increase your self-worth, your self-respect, your self-esteem into the relationship and bring that negative energy that you're bringing in every single day into the relationship and sh and shift and shift that into a positive energy. That is really key. And you're going to notice that if you shift your energy into a more positive way and you're being more confident, your other half is going to respond to you differently. And you're going to actually figure out that you're going to be connecting on certain levels that you weren't able to connect to before because, you know, your other half is just putting the band-aid on how you are feeling and you weren't able to get to certain deep, intimate connections um, in your relationship. And and that's doing you a disservice. So you have to work on yourself. It's important to trust yourself first and foremost. It's not about trusting your significant other at the end of the day, whether he or she did something to make you lose your trust. When we talk about rebuilding trust, it's about really trusting ourselves that no matter what happens in the future moving forward, that we ourselves are going to be okay, that we are strong enough to deal with anything that comes to us and we will be able to make it through. So you need to trust yourself that you're strong and you're going to make it and be fine no matter what. The more confident you are, the better and the better chance you're going to have of being able to rebuild the trust with your other half and the trust in your relationship. So that's really important to know. If you are trying to work on your self-esteem, if you're watching these videos, if you're really seeing the signs um, and you're doing you know, positive affirmations for yourself and you know, recognizing where you're uh, falling short on your self-esteem and it's just not working, don't uh, hesitate to seek professional help on this. A lot of times our low self-esteem really has to do with some more deep-rooted issues related to our past and not everybody is able to kind of dredge that up and really figure out what's going on and heal the past so we can be you know really healthy for the present. A lot of people really struggle with that and that's nothing to be ashamed of. So don't be afraid to get some professional counseling or help uh, to be able to figure out these past issues and struggles that you had that are causing a problem in your current relationship because that's doing you a disservice for your life and your happiness. It's doing a disservice to your current relationship and the ability for your relationship to survive long term. So take care of yourself first and foremost. The more we can take care of ourselves and make ourselves a priority, the healthier our relationship is going to be. Thank you so much for listening. Please, if you have any questions or comments, write them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.